Hi, I'm Emily from Life So Savory, and today I'm going to show you how to add a little bit of decoration to a simple pajama pant pattern. This pattern is available for free on the website in sizes four through extra large adult. So great for making family PJs or giving as gifts. Now, they're just a very basic PJ pattern. So how can we make it a little more exciting for either your kids, yourself, or when you're giving it as a gift? A great way to do that is to add a decorative cuff. And today I'm gonna to give you some ideas for adding decorative cuffs to your PJ pants. So it's really simple. You grab the pattern, download it, sew up the basic PJ pant. And if you're gonna add a cuff, the one thing to keep in mind is that I always cut about four to five inches off the bottom of the pattern so that my pants don't end up too long. So once you do that and you sew on a cuff, you'll get a really cute PJ cuff like this one. And this one uses machine embroidery as the design. Let's talk about some other cute ways to add embellishment to your cuffs. One is to cut some vinyl using your electronic cutting machine and add a cute design or decal or name or initials, whatever it is you might be. So I've got mine set up to cut some really fun zigzag pattern that I'm gonna add to this um, pajama pant. So I've already got my vinyl, the shiny side is down, and the one thing you wanna make sure when you're cutting vinyl is that the half cut is on because we only wanna cut through the top top layer and not our bottom transfer sheet. So we're going to go ahead and cut that. Okay, so that's going to take a couple minutes to cut. And while that does that, let's talk about some other finishing options for your pajama cuffs. So the first thing before I decorate my cuffs is to cut them the right size. And um, in order to do that, I'm using white flannel here and then I have this um, other flannel here but we want the height double to that of the cuff that you want. So really, this will be folded over and then this is the bottom edge of the pant. So you think about the design as this being the height. And of course, if you've cut more off your pajama pattern, then you need to make your cuffs longer. So that just is a way you can easily adjust the height if someone is extra tall as well. And then of course, your cuff needs to be able to be sewn all the way around the bottom of the leg. So usually I'll just fold it in half and make sure that it's doubled over the same as the bottom of the pant. So now that our cuff is approximately the right size, we can adjust a little bit as we go, but now we can decorate it. So some ideas that I had in addition to the embroidery and the vinyl are to maybe put some little bit of lace. Now, not for men's PJs like this is, but um, you know, for something else, and you can either add it here to the bottom, right along that fold, or up here, maybe uh, you know, a half inch down or so from where you'll be um, doing your seam allowance. And I would put it on where I wanted it and adjust it, and then I would open this up to pin it and sew it before you fold it back because you don't really wanna be stitching through both layers of the cuff. Okay, you could do the same thing with rickrack or any other sort of decorative material or finishing that you want. All right, let's take a look now at our vinyl. Okay, so I cut four. I cut four little zigzag patterns, two for each of my cuffs. So I'm going to cut two of these out so we can take a look at how they will look on our pants. So the other thing we need to do is weed away the extra vinyl. So if you take a sharp tool and get a hold of one of the edges, then you can usually pull off that extra vinyl that is around your design. So you can see there, there's in between my two zigzag patterns. And then here we'll pull off the top. And you just do that between all of your designs. So if you trim these all apart and we lay them end to end, then we'll have enough for both cuffs to be fully um, zigzagged around each cuff. 
and then you could play around with where you want it on the cuff. So if you want it on the bottom, or again, right under the seam allowance, it just gives a really fun design and um, just something different to add to your pajamas. And again, you could monogram or all kinds of um, different things. So you can see how you just lay it side by side. Then you get your iron and you just press that on before you sew your cuff on. All right, let's take a look at the other embroidered cuff for the pair of orange pajama pants. So I'm going to grab the embroidery that's finished embroidering off the machine. Okay, and this one I already cut the height of the cuff because I wanted to make sure I was embroidering in the right spot. So this is correct, but the length is a little bit long. So we'll need to trim that before we continue. And you saw that because my fabric did not reach to either side of my hoop that I used a sticky embroidery stabilizer. So the fabric is actually just stuck onto there and only in the hoop at the end. So that's just a really um, handy feature to have and tool to use the sticky stabilizer if you're using fabric similar to this. So you then you either cut or tear away your stabilizer. Okay, and I'm a little bit nervous because it's a knit fabric and it's a little bit stretchy to just rip this off. So I'm gonna go ahead and just trim the stabilizer around the embroidery design. I think if you had a nice thick fabric, you could just go ahead and rip it, but I don't wanna tear my fabric either. And then we will just cut this to the right length and then go ahead and sew it onto the other side of those pajama pants. Okay, so now you'll probably, before you sew these, wanna make sure you trim up your stabilizer nice and tight so you don't have that inside your pajamas. But let's go ahead and look at the bottom of these pants. So again, like I said, we have the height double to that what we want. Okay, so when I fold this over, it's actually twice as high as we want it to be. And then we need to make it doubly as wide. Now the thing with this design is it doesn't cover the whole cuff. So I wanna make sure that this is centered on the outside of my leg. So I'm going to fold the pattern in half to make sure that that's in the center before I cut the length of the cuff. And then we're going to line it up with the bottom of the pants. And I'll leave a little bit extra for seam allowance, but we're just going to cut that fabric so we can sew it on. All right, so now our cuff is ready to sew and we're gonna head over to the serger and put it on. Okay, so the first thing we wanna do is fold it with right sides together and sew the short end of the cuff. And usually you do this when you're making a sleeve cuff or pant cuff or any type of cuff is you sew that short edge together so you have a nice finished circle. Okay, and then we can fold our cuff in half. Now the wrong side of the fabric is going to go on the inside. And we will line up our seam that we just sewed with the inseam of the pants and we put the right sides together. All right, so then you just put a few pins to hold everything in place. My fabric is, for my cuff is actually a little bit stretchy because it's sweatshirt fabric. So I'm able to get a little bit of play with it to stretch it. Um, but if you're using two flannels, you'll have to make sure that you line it up exactly because it's not at all stretchy. So once you have the cuff and the pajama pants lined up, then you can go ahead and sew those three layers together. Now, you're going to wanna make sure that you do catch all three layers the whole time that you're sewing. And so sometimes I like to stop and check it out as I'm going along. If you don't catch both layers of the cuff, then you will end up with a little hole on the outside of your cuff. All 
I like using a serger for this because flannel tends to fray a lot. So when I use the serger, the edges are not only quick and easy, but it also keeps it from fraying. And um, so it's kind of a one stop, one step sort of process. And then we're able to open it up and check out our super cute embroidered cuff.